Hey guys, so the news is um, I took my blog and I took my proposal about improving security whereby um, I'll set up a web page so that it just sends an SMS to the guards in this neighborhood. Um, yeah, the I took it to the security co committee there and they liked it and um, and we basically agreed that I'd demo on Friday. Today's Tuesday. So, um, well, I've been making progress. It's pretty much done and, whoa, how many lines of code is that? At least 300 perhaps, can't count. Um, maybe I should have designed it a bit better. I kind of like just took the, the guard code and, uh, and just copied it to the homeowner. So, so G is for guard, H is for homeowner, M is for management. Um, yeah, so, uh, let's see, so this is what it looks like when, when the guard is signed in, and if they're not signed in, they see the responders on duty, uh, and then this is what a homeowner, see this H here, a homeowner looks like, and yeah, I've been testing it, as you can see, uh, so this JSON file has the complete log of what's going on and as the SMS API works the same way i.e. each time you want to SMS a number you have to do repeated sort of curl invocations which is slightly worrying because you know in an emergency situation time is of the essence um, so I've, anyway I've been testing it with my own sort of API and and I think the curl sort of keeps a keep alive a, a session, so it is a bit fast, but I'm still I'm still a bit worried about the speed. And I keep a, an entire log of the sort of alert, so every every curl invocation is sort of logged in a in a sort of uh, an array here and gets stored into a JSON file. Uh, oh, I think I've just triggered an alert. Um, I've also triggered. I've also implemented things like muting it and um, what else let me so show you the actual homeowner code where it gets a bit gnarly see basically it sees which guards are on active du duty and then it does this sort of um, uh, it does it in it a curl in it before and then it sort of builds up the curl and then does an invocation in this for each loop and then ends with a curl close. Um, what else um, can I show you? I was quite, well I, something that took me some time to do was um, do my own send mail so that uh, it's AWS. The trouble with AWS SES is that you need to to verify an email you basically can only send to that email from the email sort of thing so I had to sort of tweak my said mail so that every time mail is uh, what do you call it sent it always redirects to the verified email um, yeah I don't want to bore you too much I think it's all coming along nicely um, well, I haven't figured out how to put PHP error messages into my into my oh yeah this is this is the API I'm testing with I just made my own sort of mail API just to test before I start testing it on the real SMS and yeah I would pretty I would really reckon um, you know appreciate some review of my PHP code I am coding like crazy so it is a bit gnarly right now. Um, and to be honest, I guess on Friday we'll only find out if they really go for it. And then we can look at making the code a bit nicer. But I, I have high hopes for this. I really would like to improve the security around here with this basic sort of SMS notification thing. And then I've, I've designed it in the back of my mind so that it can be quite extensible. You know, the JSON uh, data stores can easily be extended. Um, I'm not using a database. I don't want to use a database. Um, yeah, I have high hopes for this. Um, I've also been designing it so that it can be deployed in other areas, except uh, besides Uptown. So if if it works well from here, it'll be easy to deploy in other places. Um,
yeah, so that's my progress report for the My Responder project. And uh, have a look and um, do please comment. Thanks for watching.